<laughs> you are short. <laughs> we are on vacation. And guess where we are at? So one of the most beautiful places we love to go and one of our favorites is Capitola, California. It's about, what, 45 minutes south of San Francisco. Yep. Uh, right next to Santa Cruz, if you know where that is. And it's just our little getaway where we can recharge. It's kind of in our... Uh... We've been coming here for years and years, so... A little bit about us. We met in high school in between our junior and senior year and you know when you're a senior in high school oftentimes you have to cut school you know at the end of at the end of the year. Don't tell anybody. <laughs> and this was one of our favorite places to come and then since then getting married and having kids our kids have spent a lot of time here. Um, it's just one of our favorite places on earth. So here we are walking out on the Capitola Pier, watching the surfers and the waves, and probably find a, a sea lion or two out here. We just love it. We're here in May, so it's a little cooler, um, but it's still just beautiful. It's about, I don't know, 68, 69, 70 degrees out. We've got some good surf, so we've been able to watch the surfers. Um, never been to Capitola you gotta come oh yeah absolutely it's got to be put it on your list this is a must-see place Capitola California they call it Capitola by the sea it's a, a quaint little town <laughs> but a lot of fun a lot of fun Breakfast. <laughs> oh, 
I know. We're not Bloody Mary people. We're not Bloody Mary people. But we have some quite interesting Bloody Marys, if you are a Bloody Mary person. Tell us what we got. Oh, I have huevos rancheros, which is one of my very favorite breakfasts of all time. And Norm has uh, turkey avocado omelet, home fries. Yeah, we're not going to have to eat again for two days. Well, <laughs> I don't know about that. <laughs> At least two hours. <laughs> well, more than two hours. <laughs> Capitola and yeah we we're kind of on vacation but we're also kind of not so we own our family owns some property here and part of my responsibility or my job actually is I manage our, our family's property portfolio and so we go out to our various properties and I work at them and I fix things up make repairs uh, just oversee uh, new furniture new carpet you know those kind of things as needed we have rental properties and so we're at uh, our property in Capitola uh, this week and, and doing some of that. While Kim is also working, she's working part-time this week with her job at the university and she's doing that, uh, you know, over the internet. So uh, what I'm working on today is we're planting and fixing up the, the patio. We have a lot of plants and planters and sprinklers and, and the sprinklers have kind of been uh, neglected. The plants have been, in, been neglected and it needs a lot of TLC. So that's my job today. I bought some new plants, I bought some sprinkler fittings, and it's time for me to get to work. Here we go, we're gonna sneak up on Kim while she's working. She's playing. <laughs> I'm editing photos. Oh, editing photos. Well, that's well, that's, right. a, that's important too. Yep. Yep. Taking a little break from some regular work and yep. doing some editing photos. For She's got her desk set up here. Yep. Everything set and ready to go. All right. Well, we'll leave you to it. Okay. So last night we had the police outside our front door, which I think was maybe just a DUI, but boy, they had four sheriff cars and a California Highway Patrol officer. And I think the Highway Patrol officer was there because they had the breathalyzer uh, equipment to, to test. But now this morning, uh, our condo is right on the water uh, on a bluff overlooking a small little secluded beach and it's secluded. Uh, because it's only accessible at low tide you can only get to it but I came out to the seawall this morning and this is what I found looks like a rubber raft and there's some life jackets floating around out there and I saw a gas can earlier I don't know what happened All right, we're heading into town to get some lunch. Yay! This morning we kind of hung around the condo. It was raining, but that was fine because we had work to do. Yep, I had university work to do and had to be part of a... a conference call. Conference call. And anyway, now we're ready to start our day. Yeah, so it's still pretty cloudy, a little bit breezy, um, but nice overall. It's yeah, not raining. And and that's what you expect when you're on the coast. Yeah. You, know, you expect it to be cool, you expect to have some fog, and that's just part of it's the northern, on the yep, coastline. That's Northern California beaches for you. Yep. Although this is a, today is an actual storm, a rainstorm today and tomorrow. So a little bit different than the just fog. But So what do you want for lunch? Ooh, I don't know. Let's, uh, 
walk downtown, we've got Margaritaville, we've got Paradise Cafe, we have all sorts of different choices. Okay, well, I guess we'll just head down the hill and see what we end up with. <laughs> Lunchtime. Lunchtime. Yay. Yeah, it was really good. Uh, what'd you have? I had mushroom soup and, ooh, I'm not sure what the other thing was called. It's like a tower. It was an ahi tower an of ahi some sort. An ahi tower, yes. It had ahi and avocado and rice and taro chips. It was absolutely delicious. Yeah, and I had a grilled shrimp and tomato and avocado lettuce wrap salad, and it was awesome. I loved it. Could have used a little bit more shrimp, but that's okay. It was good. Yeah. Good, good lunch. I would give mine a five for sure. And I'm a bit of a foodie. <laughs> I like my food, so. Yeah, mine was a four and a half, just because <laughs> I, I felt like they skimped on the shrimp a little bit. But overall, great lunch. Yeah. Highly recommend. We'll put the link down below. Yeah, somewhere down there. up onto the sand overnight. Ah, just breaks your heart when you see tragedy like that. People are on the boat trying to 
salvage, I guess, what they can out of the boat. Um, I'm not sure what they do about the boat being up on the sand. I don't know if they can get it off. It's high tide now and it's way up. Really sad story. Uh, the storm is coming back in and it's getting windy. You probably can hear that in the microphone. Sorry about that. Just wanted to give you a little update. You know, life is so wonderful and things can happen in a moment's notice. You don't even realize one minute everything is great and the next, you know, something like this happens and your boat is washed up on shore. Luckily it's not us. Don't know who it is, but sure feel bad for them. So what do you do when life throws you a curve? Do you accept the challenge and, and step up or does it uh, get you down? So I guess when that happens, you got a couple of options. You can step up and make the best of things and try and improve and learn from it. Or you can just sink and let it take you down. Um, I prefer the first option of trying to make the best of any situation and growing learning from it, and uh, taking steps to improve. Not easy. It's the best way though. It's the only way. You know, life isn't always easy. It's not supposed to be. It's those uh, difficult challenges that build character. Help us to see what capacity we have within us what our resolve is and uh, move forward oh we just love this town wish the weather was a little better but hey it's not raining right now might be in five minutes though <laughs> dark clouds ahead So it looks like I may have waited a little bit too long to work my way back up to the condo because now it's raining. Oh well, just a little water, right? It's, uh, it's raining moderately right now. Hopefully it doesn't turn into a downpour and I get soaked, but oh well, who cares? to be
Good morning, everybody. Good morning. Got my coffee. Yep, got the coffee. We're out at the seawall enjoying just a beautiful day. Wow, it's spectacular. It's fantastic. It's not typically this sunny this early in the morning, so this was a very pleasant surprise. Yeah, you usually have fog in the mornings here, so yeah, this is yep. awesome. Yep, we'll take what we can get. It's our last day, so <laughs> it even, makes it even nicer having this for a going away present. Yeah, last days are always sad, but you just have to remember it's just as a chance to come back again. Yep, we just love it here. It's so peaceful and it's just it's our old stomping grounds. That's right, <laughs> brings back lots of great memories. Yeah, so thanks for joining us this week. We really had a lot of fun. Hope you enjoyed watching our activities. <laughs> <laughs> our little bit of vacation along with a little bit of work, but that's kind of what we tend to do. Yep, so thanks so much. We'll catch you next week. If you like what we're doing, then please subscribe and ring the bell so you get notified when we release our next video. Absolutely. We want to take you along on all of our different adventures. Thanks again and we'll catch you later. Bye-bye.